Now we're gonna be doing operations with scientific notation. Now what do operations refer to? Add, subtract, multiply, divide. That's pretty much what we're talking about. So we're gonna be adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing numbers that are in scientific notation. I'm gonna start with multiplication and division because these are pretty much the easiest ones. Uh, realize that even though this is in parentheses and it's 6.82 times 10 to the fourth, and this one is 3.05 times 10 to the third, it's really just four numbers being multiplied together. So we can use the commutative property of multiplication to rearrange them, and I'm going to put the decimals together and the powers together. So I'm gonna start with 6.82 times, I'm gonna use the elementary time sign for now because I have decimals going on, 3.05, and then I'm gonna hit times 10 to the fourth, times 10 to the third. Now I'm gonna use my calculator to do the first multiplication. And then these, I'm just gonna add the exponents. So I get 20.801. And this is, again is 10 to the fourth plus three. So times 10 to the seventh. Now I'm not done here. I hope you recognize that. In fact, why am I not done? It's not in scientific notation again. I've gotta change this into scientific notation. So when you get good at this, you don't show all your work. But right now, what I'm doing is I'm changing that first number into scientific notation. 2.0801 times 10 to the first times 10 to the seventh. And then, of course, I am going to add those exponents because I'm multiplying their bases. And so my final answer is 2.0801 times 10 to the eighth. If you'd like to, pause the video and try the next one. Again, I'm going to commute them so that I have 5.26 times 2.73 and 10 to the negative 2 times 10 to the negative 6. And when the bases are the same, we add the exponents, so to the negative 2 plus negative 6. And I'm going to use my calculator to do the first number. So I get 14.3598 times 10 to the negative 8. And again, I'm not done because my mantissa is not in scientific form, right? So I've got to just change that portion to 1.43598. Unfortunately, I can't drop any of those numbers times 10 to the first because I just moved the decimal one place times 10 to the negative 8. So since they have the same base, I can add the exponents 10 to the 1 plus negative 8 to get my final answer. 1.43598 times 10 to the negative 7. You can pause the video and try the next one if you like. I'm going to commute them. So 8.14 times 4.61 times 10 to the fifth times 10 to the negative 9. And of course, with the same base, I'm going to add the exponents, 5 plus negative 9, and use my calculator for the first part. 37.5254 times 10 to the negative 4. And again, my mantissa needs to be changed to 3.75254 times 10 to the first times 10 to the negative fourth. And I'm going to add those exponents, 1 plus negative 4. To get my final answer, 3.75254 times 10 to the negative 3. Let's do some division. Now with this, first we need to remember that with multiplying fractions, like if I have A over B times C over D, that equals AC over BD. It's just that we're actually starting more with this situation and working in that direction. So with the first one, I'm going to uh, break them up into 6.82 over 2.2 times, and I can use that sign or the dot, 10 to the seventh divided by 10 to the third. And when we divide powers with the same base, we subtract their exponents. And with the first part, I'm going to simply divide it on my calculator, and that gives me 3.1. So 3.1 times 10 to the fourth. If 
you'd like to try the next one before I do it, pause the video. I'm going to start by breaking up into 3.48 divided by 6.4 times 10 to the 8th divided by 10 to the 5th. And again, do 10 to the 8 minus 5. Divide the other one on your calculator. So 0 0.5. Four, three, seven, five. Now this time I am going to have to change my mantisa, right? To 5.4375 times 10 to the first times 10 to the third, because that's eight minus five. And now I do 10 to the one plus three. So my answer is gonna be 5.4375 times 10 to the fourth. If you'd like to try the last one on your own before I start, pause the video. 8.16 divided by 5.1 times 10 to the negative 5 over 10 to the 4th. So 10 to the negative 5 minus 4. So 1.6. 1 1.6 1 times 10 to the negative 9th. Now let's do some addition and subtraction. Now the key to adding or subtracting um, scientific numbers is that the characteristics have to be the same. I cannot add these in their current form because whenever I add or subtract, I have to do a decimal lineup. Well, remember that these decimals are uh, reliant on the characteristic. See, this decimal is actually five places to the right, whereas this decimal is only two places to the right. They have to be the same. Now, I always choose to make my bigger characteristic smaller, and it needs to match two. So to get five down to two, I've got to add three decimal places here and take them away from the characteristic. So I'm going to rewrite my problem as 7.61 times 10 to the second plus... Three, so there's one place, two places, three places, times 10 squared. Now, what I can do is I can factor out that common factor. So that this is now really 7.61 plus 3520 times 10 squared. I know that when we factor, we usually put it in front, right? We usually put the... 10 to the second power out here. It's fine on the front or on the back. Now I add these two numbers together. Should be really easy. Three, five, two, seven point six one times 10 squared. And now I've got to put it back into scientific notation. So I want to move the decimal one, two, three places back. So I'm going to add three to the exponent, 3.52761 times 10 to the fifth. Now I could have changed the 7.61 times 10 to the second to a times 10 to the fifth by moving my decimal three places to the left there. So it would have been 0 0.00761 times 10 to the fifth plus 3.52 times 10 to the fifth. And you can see that really all that happened does then is it puts this 761 just because it happens to be, you know, after these two places, after the five and the two, and there it is right there. So either one is your choice and, and is fine. So if you want to pause the video and try the next one before I do it, uh, that would be all right. All right, so, oh, uh, if I'm going to change the bigger one to be like the smaller one, then I have to take five away from this exponent. So move my decimal one, two, three, four, five. And so now I'm going to be doing... Two nine three zero 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 minus five point six one times ten to the negative two, and I get two nine two 
994.39 times 10 to the negative 2. And then to turn it back into scientific notation, I've got to move that decimal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 2.929439. Times 10 to the fifth times 10 to the negative 2. So when I add those exponents, I get 2.929439 times 10 to the third. And again, I could have changed the negative 2 to a positive 3 by moving the decimal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places that way. So 0 0.1234561 times 10 to the third. And then I would have subtracted this number from this number. And I just checked it on my calculator and I did get this same number.